Tom Ford, 47. Man, he got down very quickly to that shot. He obviously thought it was automatic. Well, this is unmissable. Absolutely unmissable. Yeah, you see, he knows. That plant was almost easier than just a single pot, wasn't it, Willie? Could have played that better. Could have played the black bet the position on the black better. That's where it went wrong. Thirty-seven. Oh. No kick. Oh. Mark Allen, fifty-eight. Heavy contact. That's why he's showing his disappointment. That's very unlucky, isn't it? We could see that right down the line. Just have a look at the red. Straightens off to the left-hand side of the pocket, and you could see. And certainly here is frustration. Come on! Oh, you don't normally see that from Neil Robertson. Neil Robertson. He really is in quite a mood. I've never seen that from him. That's what it means to the Australian. He's back in the lead at 11 10. Yeah, there's only the second round, but, you know, amazing. I think you can hear what's happening on the other side, and big black this. No, I know. Steve McGuire, what? And but that's the crucible theatre, as we were saying before, wasn't it? He wanted to get down and play it, but he had to wait so long. Just didn't cue it properly, did he? No, and he was hampered slightly by the. And I know. Whoa, what a gift for Sean Murphy. Well, he might get one here. I'm not happy with that shot. He was playing a delicate pot and a cannon to hold for the black there. I think he can just get to the edge of the pack, stay on this red to right corner. Yeah, just a little. Ooh, took his eye off the pot. No. Sullivan five. You can see what Ronnie thinks about that. Just completely took his eye off the pot, concentrating on the cannon on the pack. And as we always, 95% of Ronnie's misses are thin. That was the same again. Just concentration. He's played 41. Two or three little positional shots, which is very unlike. Sullivan, and then you can see the frustration. Things you and we <laughs> one. Well, I suppose it happens to every player. They just sort of think they're over the line, lose the concentration, and that won't help. Painkillers, please. Table one. Yeah, there's only one winner on that contest. Then. Any chance of any pot, he's going to go for it, and he's going to make it count. Ooh, slap on the table. Mmm. He hit the red well, but what he 65. failed to do was hit it with a bit more pace. And he realised that straight away when the cue ball stuck in the reds. That's certainly not what he said. He was trying to get in behind the black there. And <laughs> he smiles away. Oh. But they've had a laugh about it afterwards there. Uh. Oh. Mm. It's far from funny. Mm, told you there was an edge to this match. Forward to shake his hand. Right it's taken an awful long time. He pats him on the tummy to say, well done. And look at that. Ali Carker, after all this time, manages to beat the Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. And that's what it means to him. And in the end, he wins 13-9. I think he's a happy bunny. Look, Ronnie's done me. 
in the final twice and had the better of me. In it, and I was, and I've been intimidated by him in the past, and I was determined that that wasn't going to happen this time. And uh, I'm not, I haven't paid for a ticket to watch Ronnie O'Sullivan play. He had a shoulder barge earlier on in the match, um, and I just decided that I wasn't going to bend that way again. So we just kind of collided. John Higgins from Kansas City. But he's so angry with himself for missing that red. He leads by 21, but that's far from decisive. Just flicked the jaw, goodness. Just caught the first joyce, absolutely fuming. Yeah, but meanwhile, this was the miss on the black from O'Sullivan. And uh, you can see how annoyed he was there. Yeah, well, Peter Ebden wasn't happy with 14. movement in the crowd and noise. Just watch what happens here. This was in the previous frame. Cue on the floor. And it did go down with a bit of a slam. Done it so it don't go. No, it goes. Yeah, it goes now. That's, because that's, I've told you to put it on. Before, that's why I checked it. It's terrible. Twice. Just play the shot, it's please. Twice. I had to tell you. So, now, there's the black first time, which we don't think was correctly spotted. And there you can see there's a, there's a massive difference. Yeah, I'll just change it back there. It's, it's about a centimetre different, isn't it? I mean, it's very visible. Yeah, and so. so it's, you know, it's the referee's fault at the end of the day, he hasn't yeah. put the black on the spot properly. You know, whether Ronnie needs to get involved the way it, had, it, it did, you know, remains to be seen. But yeah, I mean, he's in the middle of a break, he wants the black to go. So obviously you're <laughs> yeah. going to say the black's not on yeah. the spot properly. <laughs> Wayne, well, Ronnie's spot on on the... Okay. Okay, the black, okay. And, I, and I can't, okay. I can't get to the white where I need to. As before, I could pinch it and get it in there. So it's further, further away. That's for you to decide. I know, I know. It's not my job. It's your job. Isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, can't touch the ball, so according to the screen, yeah, it's, know, it's not in the right place to take. Yeah, but can you can you help me, please? It's not my job. Okay. I'm not going to stand here with you, give me daddy in the back. Is it correct according to the screen, Paul? Yep, happy with it? Okay. Good. He's going around the back of him. <laughs> you get your breath. Oh, and look at the flick on the blind. Can you believe what's happening here? If he could come off one cushion, he'd just land on. Well, um, there must have been a plant on that we didn't see, but uh, a little bit of frustration. But like a wire full. Sometimes he can look so angry out there. One of them. Yeah, here's another bit of Stephen's reaction. <laughs> please make sure the mobile phones are switched off, please. Pardon? Okay, who was that? Well, someone shouted Did you hear that? at the referee, which he's not very happy with. So right, you're going straight out. He's trying to locate him. Can. can you please go out? No, it wasn't a mobile phone. And it it wasn't a mobile phone. It was the guy who shouted at me. It wasn't a mobile phone, no. he said. It was someone that shouted out. Anyway, we're back to normal. It wasn't normal. about the mobile phone. It was about it's what he said.
Steve Maguire, 28. Foul, and a miss. Injun Wee, four. Bingham, one. It's not a fast snooker by any stretch. As we get another Can you please going make off. sure your phones are on silent? Thank you. Stuart Bingham, 22. Well, Stuart's shown his frustration at the phone that rang. But really, he had time to get up, get back down, and should never miss that red anyway. <laughs> 